Hi, I'm Shari Love and welcome to this Chrome Enterprise admin tutorial with Apps Events and Acer. And today in, uh, what I'm going to be doing is talking about inviting guardians, managing guardians and deleting guardian, guardians within Google Classroom using GAM. And this is a great way to bulk add the guardians of students so that they can get updates from Google Classroom uh, and to do that in a way that's really manageable for you and your organization. So rather than individual teachers adding email addresses, um, you can do that as an admin and you can do that for the across the whole uh, organization for all of your Google Classrooms, for all the courses, and you can add all the students, uh, guardians, um, just with one command and a CSV file. So just to do in terms of the setup, um, we're going to use the invite guardians command. So um, that's all within the GAM wiki. You can see that here is the wiki page and we've got the option here of managing guardians and the syntax is shown here. Now, in order to do this, we're going to use some data that I've generated. So you'll know from previous videos that we've been working through adding, setting up courses and then adding students and now we're adding guardians. So I've got email addresses already for my students and what I've done is I've generated a, a guardian email address for each of those students. And um, multiple students, can have the same guardian that's not a problem you can have three four guardians it you know there's, there's no kind of limits on what you can do here so you can add multiple guardians per student and get updates that way so what i've got here is i've just got this will be a csv file with student email and the guardian email here i've got the guardian name that's not something that we're not going to use but when i'm creating the data it's useful for me to see that just so you can kind of do a sense check as you're going through about who the guardians are. Um, and remember, this is going to be used in a GAM batch command, a bulk command in, in GAM. So um, I need to have some field names at the top of the top of the columns so that uh, I can reference those in GAM. So the command I'm going to use is really straightforward. Um, the standard command is GAM create guardian uh, guardian invite guardian's email and the student's email. And if I'm using that with the bulk commands, I'm going to say gam csv, put the file name in, and then put in the command that I'm going to use. So I'm doing this again, uh, as you'll know, through Cloud Shell. If you want to see how to set up gam in Cloud Shell, have a look at some of the previous videos. So I'm just going to pop across to my Cloud Shell now. And what I've got here is I've already uploaded my Guardian's CSV file just from the Google Sheet that I showed you a few seconds ago. And I'm now going to run the command. So it's going to be gam csv guardians.csv, gam create guardian invite, then the email address column for my CSV file for the guardians, and then the email address for the students after that. Uh, and remember, I'm using the title before the column names to indicate in GAM that those are fields that I'm using. So let's execute that command. So that's now going through adding guardians to students. As you can see, the invitations are done and they all get an invitation ID. So that's great. We've added bulk added guardians, which is grand. That's what we wanted to do. Um, so beyond that, the next thing is after we've invited guardians, we might want to be able to delete some of those guardians to say, OK, no, we don't want to have those guardians being linked to those students anymore. So there's a straightforward command to do that. It's just gam delete guardian, uh, guardian email and the student email. So relatively straightforward. Uh, and if again, you can do this in bulk as well. So uh, to do a bulk delete of guardians, just the same thing. I'm just going to use the same kind of data that I had before. But this time I'm going to just delete a small number of guardians that I've identified as 20 that I want to remove so that they no longer receive um, uh, the invitations. So the command is going to be gam csv uh, guardian delete, which is my csv file, gam delete guardian, and then the guardian's email address, student's email address. So that will remove that guardian from that particular student. Guardian might remain somewhere else, but we're going to delete them from the student. Okay, so um, my guardians have been deleted. Um, so we canceled the pending guardian invitation for those ones. So that's grand. Okay, and so finally, the one that we want, what we might want to do is we might want to get an update 
to understand where we are in terms of how many guardians have actually accepted um, their invitations or how many are still pending. So we can get information about where we are in terms of managing and printing out where we are with those guardians. So what I've got here, this next command is all about how you can print guardians. You can print um, guardian invitations. Uh, you can print guardian information that's been stored in the system. You can see whether the state of the invitation is it's complete, pending, or unspecified. Uh, if it's complete, then they've accepted it or declined it. If it's pending, it's still yet to be accepted or declined. Um, and you can send those to Drive. If you send them to Drive, they are stored in your Google Drive as a Google Sheet. Um, otherwise, they will end up as a CSV file. But if you want to view it, the information on screen in a readable format, you would just say no CSV. So what I'm going to do now is use the GAM print guardians um, and then print the guardians for the OU spe specified. So that's going to be users, students, OU. I'm going to print the invitations that are still in the pending state, so yet to be accepted or declined by the particular guardian. And I'm just going to pipe those into a uh, pending.csv file. So I'm just going to execute that command. So that will list it out all of those pending um, guardians, so I could open that file up and review it. So that's just been really just a, a, a quick uh, reference through using GAM to update guardians and to add guardians to your Google Classrooms. Um, you can find out more about using GAM on the GAM Wiki. Um, and I've been Charlie Love. Thanks very much for watching this Chrome Enterprise tutorial with Apps Events and Acer. Mm -hmm.